Hi, I'm Susan. I'm a divorced mother of two children, Kyle and Kaylee, and I was bitten by a vampire. This is my story. First, let me thank Bob for sending over Mickey, and I want to thank Mickey for coming. Thank you, Mickey. Anyway, I was helping with a production of Dracula at my kid's school. I was helping the uh, drama teacher, Mr. Draconian. And during a rehearsal, he bit my neck. And I thought, oh great, he's, he's a method actor. But then I came to and found two holes in my neck. He had really bitten me, and then he disappeared off the face of the earth. Well, shortly after that, I started MOV, Mothers Against Vampires. Of course, I didn't get any takers because, you know, nobody believes in vampires until they're bitten. Anyway, since I can't go after Mr. Draconian, I thought I'd scour the neighborhood and see if any of my neighbors were vampires. So Mickey and I are going to go and try and find some vampires. We're going to go vampire hunting. So come on, Mickey. All right. Mickey's not here. You know, with my schedule, I'm lucky I found time to be able to use a sword. So I just figure I got a camera. I just have to do it on my own time. So me and my camera are going vampire hunting. Wish us luck. Okay, off we go vampire hunting. Always wear your seat belt. You know, I know that we're supposed to be getting uh, a prickly feeling around vampires once we've been bitten, but um, I don't know. I get kind of a prickly feeling around my OBGYN ever since, you know, the birth of my second child because he talked me into natural childbirth. You know, some great idea that was. So now I'm coming around doctors, I get kind of a prickly feeling. Well, it's a good thing my kids are older, I wouldn't have time for this. Uh, yeah, can't talk on the cell phone when you're driving anymore. I guess I'll just pull over over here. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hello. Oh, hi, Marge. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Um, look, let me call you back. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir, um, are, are you a vampire or a doctor? <laughs> what kind of ridiculous question is that? Well, I get a prickly feeling around doctors. And I guess I'm supposed to get one around vampires? Are you... If I'm going to be any good at this at all, I have to go back. Oh, and luck, he's still there. I'm just going to pull over and see if I can get a shot of him for my vampire, you know, Hall of Fame. Let's see if I can see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's see, camera. Stupid attitude. You're one of them, aren't you? Where's Mikey? It's Mickey! Okay, I'm staking out the place I saw that vampire a couple of days ago. I put on my disguise so he doesn't, you know, recognize me. And I'm hoping, since he's the only vampire I found so far, I'm hoping to follow him home and, you know, then, you know, kill him, basically. So, hopefully things will work out. Hopefully he'll show up and, uh... oh my God. That's him. Look, that's him over there. Good thing I got the disguise on. I might be in danger otherwise. <gasps> you know, you're not fooling anyone. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? He recognized me? Jeez. Oh. oh my God, it's him. He must have followed me over here. Oh, that's just great. A vampire in my backyard. Wow, look at him. He looks mean. Wow. I gotta go get my sword.
Okay. Hey! Bad vampire! Bad vampire! What are you doing with a sword? Well, once somebody bit me, I thought I'd better, you know, defend myself. Oh, well, then defend yourself. Okay. Look, I've been doing swashbuckle aerobics for three months now, so I just thought I should warn you. I'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Teach you that in swashbuckler robots. No, but they taught me this. <laughs> Feel better now? Not really. Well, this is easier than a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. You've got salad on my Saint Laurent. I've got spot remover in the house. And the only spot I want to remove is you. Ah. I'm out. Time. Hello. Oh, hello, Scoutmaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on the uh, Jamboree Committee. Well, yeah. I thought brownies were a good idea. I thought that Carl was a good choice. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, I don't know if I'll make it tonight. I, I guess I'll call you back later. Thank you for your patience. It's running thin. Oh, I am so sorry. No problem. Hello. Oh, hi, sweetie. Backpack so we can get your books, you know, dirty and your homework. Well, I'm glad. So you're doing okay? It's not going to be forever. Yeah, he was talking about Disneyland. So, uh, I guess I'll see you later. I love you. Where's my daughter? Oh, you're finished? Yes. We can continue? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Carol. Yeah, the bake sale. Yeah, I knew about it. It's this weekend? Well, what do you need? All right, cookies, cookies. We'll put me down for uh, three dozen chocolate chip cookies. Thanks. Bye. Chocolate chip cookies. Didn't your mom ever make you chocolate chip cookies? My mother never did anything for me until she died. That's not very nice. I haven't been nice in a long time. Well, you dress really nice. Thank you. Look at the time. Look, can we pick this up tomorrow? No! I have to get my kids. I don't care about your kids. They're waiting for me. I They'll have be, to go get them. They'll be waiting a long time. You'll die now and you'll die slowly. Can't I die slowly tomorrow at 1.30? No! I'm going. Ah! Now! I understand. You're a busy woman. You have a lot on your plate. But right now, you will stop answering your phone. You will fight with me, and you will die slowly. Just remember, you're out of chocolate chips. You don't have any eggs either, for that matter. Just one more thing to add to your list of things you have to do today. What just happened? That was my life. Good reason to end it. If you insist. Come out at 1.30. Be lovely. As you wish. <sighs> like no one's ever tried the Jedi mind trick on me before.